Hello picture readies and welcome back to another episode of our Disney Princess Challenge Season 3 Tiana. As you can see, I'm not actually in Tiana's house right now. I'm actually starting in the Labouf. Labouf's. I realized all the words I was saying wrong if I try and say them with what in my head is a Southern American accent. I might be able to get them right. So let's give it a go. Well, I need to get my accent like geared up first because I'm like Atlanta, Georgia. Oh my gosh. When I did, <laughs> I did this when I was in America on stage and you guys laughed at me so hard. But they're like, bye you. Bayou, Bayou, Bayou. Does that sound more right? I don't know. Where are we again? What's this place? Oh my gosh, why is my brain so garbage? New Orleans, New Orleans. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at accents, but it's fun to do them, so I don't even care. Look how freaking cute this neighborhood is at nighttime, by the way. I actually love it so much. Oh look, it's the Bayou, Bayou. It kind of sounds right. It sounds right in my head. I've added everyone to the same family. I know that's kind of weird, but it's just temporary because I am going to go ahead and age up both of our little girly whirlies at the same time because they're kind of in a little bit... Oh, Let's get, let's get a little bit of music for this as well. I've added a track for this. Please work. It's not that one. It is not that one. It's not that one either. Nope, not that one. No, come on, get it together. It's this one. Let's change the volume to nice and high. 1920s music playing out of a, is it a gramophone? The speaker thing, but I don't know. I feel very 1920s right now. I'm kind of loving this. So I added that track specifically for this little birthday party because in between, honestly, her being a toddler and her being a teenager, we don't really see a great deal of what happens in the movie. But I'm like, you know what? That's fine. What we'll do instead is just kind of make things up as we go along. So we are gonna go ahead and let Big Daddy help Charlotte blow out the candles, and also we're gonna help Kian help little Tiana blow out the candles. So hopefully, hopefully, look how 1920s this just vibers. Just the whole vibe here, very 1920s. You love to see it. And hopefully these girls can blow out their candles at a sort of similar time. Charlotte goes first, which I guess makes sense because she is the spoiled one. It's her house. But our little Tiana blowing out her candles too. And both of them growing up in two children at the same time. Charlotte has grown- Oh, I was about to say she grew up with no hair, but out of nowhere. In came the hair. Can I get a little advanced preview? That's about right. That's about how I expected her to look. She had the fussy trait as a child. I'm gonna roll the dice. Slow learner. She's definitely not a slow learner. Sensitive. I wouldn't say she's sensitive either. Probably not that one either. Unforgettable. Yes, Charlotte is definitely unforgettable. So I love that. And I would say she definitely has the social aspiration. So go ahead and do that. And now Lil Tiana is gonna go ahead and age up as well. Oh, wow. She's, it's given her amazing hair. And I'm gonna give her... Wait, as part of the challenge, I think there's a specific thing I have to give her. Must have the ambitious trait. Now, I don't know if children come be ambitious. If she can, I'll give her it, but I don't actually think that is a trait. So instead, I'm gonna give her the self-assured trait, and then when she becomes a teenager, I need to give her the foodie trait, but for now, I'm gonna give her... I feel like she's a pretty hard worker. Maybe motor, actually. Playful and nimble. No, I would say more... Maybe even creative. No, it's definitely mental. I'm gonna give her the mental trait as well. So here she is. She has gone ahead and aged up. I can now go ahead and give both of them their child appearances. And we don't actually see Tiana in the film during this era, but we'll just try and do what we think is probably the best. The closest that we can get to how she would have looked. And I'm trying to remember what her hair looks like as a teenager, because I guess this will be somewhere in between like a child and teen phase. Okay, so her hair gets pretty long in between her toddler self. I think this is like teen, young adult kind of self. So I can definitely give her slightly longer hair now. Something like that would be really cute. <gasps> That's super cute as well. Oh my gosh, I love the piggies. I mean, I've used these on other sims recently, so I'm kind of tempted to go for the awesome pigs. I think they're so cute. Although I also don't know if something like this would be a little bit more in keeping with the 1920s style, because people tended to have shorter hair there. Um, from what I can see, this seems like it was just as trendy for black women as well. Yeah, I know this is me taking things too seriously, but I definitely feel like this is more in keeping, and it still has the texture, so I think this could be good in between. I also downloaded some 1920s style dresses 
dresses and just general clothes as well. So this is one of them. This is one of them as well. It's tough as well because honestly some of this stuff I'm like, oh, it's a little bit too like dressy for Tiana's background. But then also Tiana's mum is actually a um, seamstress. So I feel like she would actually be able to make her some really pretty clothes. So maybe I give Tiana the more plain version and I can give Charlotte the more fancy version. Okay, so here is all of, I gave her a proper princess dress. The athletic's kind of hard because I honestly don't really know, but these are Charlotte's little outfits. And then here are Tiana's little outfits as well. I think they both look super adorable. I was ready to play with them as children. And here they are all having their little birthday party, being super, super cute. And I feel like at this time is when tensions start kind of rising a little bit with uh, Kian's uh, war thing. I think at some point we will like have to enlist him into the military. But I feel like this is also when he starts to pass on a lot of his cooking skills to Tiana as well, which reminds me, what if you guys like me a mod which allows children to learn cooking? Obviously, Tiana starts having this knack for cooking when she's pretty young. So I feel like we should also make sure that she is learning from Kian while she is still a child. But for now, at least, it's all just happy dancing times, having fun, nobody's at war, nobody's uh, getting killed off anytime soon. We're just all enjoying ourselves. Cinderella looking pretty amazing in her little flapper dress, dress and the hat there. Very Bugsy Malone. And these two little cuties having a little dance together. <laughs> oh, they look so adorable in their little, like, uh, coat-y kind of vibe things. I don't know, just super cute. I'm feeling very 1920s now. I kind of love it. However, Bruno's home alone, so I am gonna have to go ahead and transfer you back to your families. It's also 11 p.m. at night. You know, you need to get home in case, I don't know, alligators start swimming away from the bayou. Ba bayou, bayou. I'm sure that's how you say it, okay? So let's go ahead and put these families back together and send them home. Oh, the exciting thing is I can finally add Tiana's bed back as well. I can get rid of this toddler stuff. Add her bed back and she'll actually have her bed looking the same way it does in the movie. So I'm obviously real hyped about that because this is a little window that she stares out of and is like dreaming of her future seeing a little frog we got a little frog on the wall here it's a little easter egg because she sees it on her window so i'll put it next to her window there and she's actually going to go to sleep in the little bed from the movie so this is super adorable and exciting kian putting her to bed there i'm making him spend loads of time with her because obviously cinderella's gonna get to grow old with her and we kind of know from the movies that kian is not gonna be able to do that so lots of daddy and daughter time really important. I also feel like her dad had like a really big impression on her life so that is also really important that we make sure that's shown in the series. And I feel like as well I can add a few more of your neighbours uh, your Tiana's neighbours that you guys added. Oh and <laughs> just as I say that somebody else leaves. Okay whatever it's a Wednesday you've got your first day of big girl school today little Tiana so you go ahead and get a shower. Dad will cook you some big girl pancakes ready for the first day of school and I have got the mod that Tiana should be able to try and cook so fingers crossed if I get her can she cook Oh my gosh, she can actually cook. This is gonna be amazing. Okay, when uh, Paul Kian gets back from his many jobs that I make him do in one day, he can go ahead and have some daddy daughter cooking time together. They, they, I swear they make like a stewy kind of thing in the beginning of the movie. So we'll give that a go. That will be really cute. Oh, and look at this. Kian's feeling sad because he's like, don't ever grow up. He isn't enjoying the thought of his little one growing up. He misses her being a little teeny tiny baby. Or maybe it's just because she's just aged up. It all feels like it's happening real fast. But he's made some excellent quality pancakes over the like the span of her life going from toddler to child he's got better at cooking as well which is good because if he's passing down his skills he kind of needs to have skills in the first place and oh my gosh he's he's missing he wants her to like stretch out her life as long as possible so he gets to spend as much time with her as he can does he know what's coming i don't know it is a miserable old day in new new orleans wait we're in new orleans new orleans new orleans oh my gosh just stop trying to do accents claire between this and the australian one from my bit live series it's all a bit of a Nightmare. Oh my gosh, by the way, I never showed you my nails. Check out my nails. They were meant to be cherry blossoms for Japan, but we had to cancel. So my cherry blossoms, they got canceled too. Oh my gosh, why? Bruno, why are you in the sink? You are definitely not allowed in the sink. Bruno's done pretty well, you know. He's been around for a good long time and he outlived the evil stepmother, so... 
You gotta hand it to the to the little boyo. He's he's a welcome member of this family. I, can I actually check how long he's got left to live? Oh my gosh, he's gonna live for 77 days. Wow, literally Tiana could grow up with Bruno as well and like be walking him when she gets older too, which is obviously absolutely adorable. Tiana, come grab your little breakfast pancakes and have a chit chat with your old man. Oh, I think we still have bills to pay, you know? Wait, it would be on here. Okay, we're all good on bills to pay. I've got Key and teaching her a valuable lesson, doing some little chit chats before she has to head into school. In fact, I'm pretty sure you've got your homework here. Oh, I don't think you're gonna get it done in seven minutes though. Okay, I feel bad. I'm sending her to a first day of school without a homework done, but it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry. The other thing I have done in between episodes is one, I have done, ooh, Cinderella's boss was happy with the work she did from home and sent her $130. That's from, um, What's, what's Big Daddy's name? I always forget what Big Daddy's name is. Elijah, Elijah LaBeouf. He, he has sent us some money for making little Charlotte some dresses and stuff. And Cinderella, I am gonna, what can I do? I'll get her to work from home again so that I can control her. Even though honestly, Tiana's gonna be heading into school so I won't be able to like make them hang out with the LaBeoufs today, but she can hang out with her friend Charlotte at school instead. And our work from home today tasks are improve our writing skill. Okay, this is something I don't really know how to do because obviously with this being the 1920s, I don't have a PC or anything like that. So I think instead she's gonna have to like buy books to improve her writing skill, which means I'm gonna need to go ahead and buy a little bookcase. Rent here is high, so we can't be silly with what we buy. Did not mean to make a little rhyme there, but kind of kind of hurt, quite happy I did. And I also need the bookcase to kind of look like, you know, it would fit in with the rest of the house as well. Actually, uh, just a bunch of books can be a bookcase now, can't it? With Tiny Living. So I might just get a little shelf and put the books on it. Okay, there we go. Here is our little bookshelf. I'm gonna have to buy the books for writing skills. It's how we had to learn our skills back in the day. There's no PC to just jump on. But I want her to become a good seamstress, so you gotta do what you gotta do. Let's get you some writing books. $200. Mm -hmm. It's an investment because it's gonna improve your like salary in the long run. You need to become the greatest seamstress in all the land, but it's also really expensive. And little Tiana heading into her first day of school. Go try hard at school. So I needed to show you guys the other thing that I did. So one, um, I rejigged all the families around. So there's some new characters that we haven't seen yet. There is some characters that are now uh, joined together in the same household. Also, you guys were saying that I, the skills aren't high. I know, but the thing is, I'm just kind of sending him off on whichever ones go away from the house. So I just kind of have to let him like just roll out. But yeah, there's some families joined together. I'm hoping we're going to see them. The other thing I have done, ooh, Kim, we've got a, oh no, no, no. Oh, I meant to make him repair it. Okay, big waste of money. Big waste of money when we don't have a lot. That was not good. The other thing I have done is I have added, I'm gonna get him to shop by, by a restaurant so I can show you guys something real quick. But I have gone ahead here. Oh wow, we need 79 thousand to buy the old sugar mill. In fact, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and show you the way that it looks right now. In fact, total night, like no one. What I'll do is I'll get Kian to bring Tiana after school and show her the old sugar mill that he wants to buy and turn into a restaurant. Gotta make it, gotta make it part of the story, guys. Gotta think ahead, which I didn't do, which is why I just quit my whole, uh, whole household. And now I have to reload her. I'm so good at this. That's just, just my job, but yeah. Oh, and all our roommates paid rent. Okay, I think right now we currently have enough money in if we do get like the rent paycheck thing that we have to all pay our rent. I think the roommates have given us enough. Kian is heading off for his little odd job. Elijah's here, so I'm interviewing him. One, because it's part of my like job thing. But two, oh wow, are you right? Are you like carving that into your palm? You lunatic, don't do that. But also uh, we can use it as one of our like job things for the day because we have to interview through Sims. But also we can use it as in he's like asking, oh, Snow White always wants to hang out, bless her. We're asking him what new dresses he wants made for Charlotte because Charlotte gets whatever Charlotte wants. Like Charlotte literally has the best life. So she's also studying her little writing skill as well. Oh, and he got $84 from his odd job and a $4 tip. Uh, I'm going to get you to do one more because he's a hard worker. We have to make him do as much work as we possibly can. I'm sorry. Before you head out though, you know he loves a good cook. So I'm going to get him to cook for the farms as well. Also because Cinderella is getting hungry and Kian promised that she would never have to cook again. She's had to cook once or twice, but she kind of 
Kevin manages the home a lot because she's here and it's the 1920s. But he does all of the cooking for her. And he was meant to do all the repairs, but then, you know, obviously, oh, congrats on your birthday from Makoa. Thanks, Makoa. Uh, I accidentally clicked the wrong thing, so he kind of didn't. <laughs> oh, and we got, oh, should Tiana invite over Char Charlotte? Now, in the movies, it's not really clear whether Charlotte ever visits, like, the Tiana's home. Tiana's only seen at Charlotte's home. And obviously, since T Charlotte's from a nice suburb, I don't really know if she would have gone and visited the home here. But this is The Sims. It's cute. I'm glad she's here so these guys can hang out and keep on being best friendos because they have an awesome friendship. These guys are playing dolls together. Obviously not as impressive as Charlotte's dollhouse, but still very cute. I'm pretty sure Charlotte will be kind of imagining a prince. She loves the story with the princess and the frog. So maybe she's already imagining a prince that has turned into a frog. Oh, you got braces there. Oh no, it's just I've got the realistic teeth, which I'm now not sure if I even like in game anymore. Whereas Tiana thinks the idea of kissing a frog is disgusting. Even if it's a prince, she ain't interested in kissing no frog. Oh, and Charlotte just became good friends with Tiana. Cutie pies, okay? Cutie pies. Oh, and Cinderella coming into hanging out with them as well. Super, super cute. And we've done all three of our things for our career today. Another awesome day working from home. This is quite a good career to do working from home, to be honest. Oh, and another awesome. Oh, your job rate has improved. Yay. Well done, kid. Okay, why don't you come and take the little girlies out and about into the town, into New Orleans. And <laughs> also, I can show you guys uh, what I've added to the neighborhood. I'm gonna leave Cinderella at home because she's washing Bruno, who has disgusting fleeby jeebies. Okay, so this is this is the kind of the only neighborhood I could really fit it in. But I also felt like it kind of worked as well, though, because do you remember in the movies, the sugar mill was on the river and the boat... Look this is actually way more worth it than I even remembered. Do you guys remember they were on like a boat in the movie to get back from Bayou to uh, the main part of New Orleans? And they were on this little boat and the alligator was like performing and they went past on the boat and looked over from the deck to see the old sugar mill. And that's where Tiana was like, oh, that is a sugar mill that I wanted to, that my father really wanted to buy. We were gonna call it, I thought it was Tiana's place. It's actually Tiana's palace because as well as not being able to pronounce anything, I also can't read, so honestly, I'm just a real winner. But ignore the new stuff in the background. This bit, at least, I think is pretty, oh my gosh, beautiful sunset. Pretty perfect. And this is the old sugar mill that Tiana, uh, that Prince Kian, sorry, wants to one day turn into a restaurant and call it Tiana's Palace, named after his beautiful daughter. Now, this palace is actually, oh, hi, Snow White. This uh, building is actually already on the gallery by another YouTuber called Hatsy. So if you search H-A-T-S-Y and check out their gallery. This actually exists completely refurbished, looking incredible, looking like a really amazing replica of the way it does in the movie. Honestly, just go on the gallery, search Hutsi, and try and find this Tiana's palace. I can't even explain to you. I'm gonna have to show you guys how incredible it looks. It is just insane. Uh, so if you search... I think it's actually Hatsi YouTube, YT, like this. You go on to, I mean, she's built so many ridiculously amazing ones. Like literally, I've met her as well. She's absolutely lovely. If you search in here for Tiana, you get Tiana's palace. And like, look at this freaking build. Like, she's so creative and she does stuff that I wouldn't have ever, ever thought of doing in a million years, such as using lights to spell out Tiana's palace on the front. So what I think I will do is, obviously this is how I, 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 I'll never be able to do a build as good as this. Like literally hats off to Hatsy because <laughs> Hats off to Hatsy. Because this is amazing. So I, Tiana is going to have to do a full on rugs to riches to try and get the amount that this lot costs, which is 80,000 simoleons. Obviously, Kian trying to do everything he can now to get as much money as he can as well. But he wants to at least show his daughter this place. He's like, this is the old sugar mill. Obviously, it's pretty freaking shabby right now. But he's like, this is an old sugar mill. This, this Tiana, my dear. This is where I think one day uh, we will be able to have like like an amazing restaurant. I feel like it's gonna be called Tiana's Place. These are some of the leftover bags of sugar. I know it's wheat on it, just pretend it's sugar. Um, one day we're gonna turn this place into a restaurant, okay? I am so, so excited. Things are a little bit turbulent right now. I think I'm gonna have to help my family. It feels like we might have to end up going to war. So I am gonna have to sign on with the military. But he's like, I'm not worried because I'm gonna use the money, money from my military, like strip end my paycheck to help us buy this place. So I might not 
be us around uh, quite as much, but don't even worry because one day we're gonna run this restaurant together. I'll be in the kitchen, you'll be in the kitchen coming up with the amazing recipes. Your mom can be out front of house and this is gonna be our restaurant one day, okay? So let's do everything we can to save up and make that a reality, okay? Oh my gosh, so freaking adorable. But this lot is 80,000 simoleons, so it ain't cheap, but this is a rags to riches kind of style challenge. So we're gonna start, start saving up for that. I am gonna go ahead and get Kian to get a new job, which is gonna be the military job. Let's go ahead and sign him up for the military. So he's had to quit his manual labor career to enter the military where he's gonna be working five days a week. I'm also wondering if I can edit his work outfit. I've done this once before, so I definitely feel like there's a way. I just don't know how to do it. But I'll show you when he goes to work tomorrow because I have like a military prince outfit that I've got all ready for him for when he has to go. I enjoyed his military. Oh my gosh, I'm spitting. But obviously he is a prince, so his outfit is gonna look a little bit different, but hopefully you guys like this. Please go out and check out Hatsi. Full credit to her for this. This is literally her build. I've just made it look all shabby for the moment because obviously that fits the challenge. And in the beginning of the movie, the sugar mill is super kind of like run down, but that's why Tiana is able to afford it and then turn it into a brilliant restaurant, hopefully one day. Okay, so Tiana, I know the animations aren't quite right, but this is a cheat that lets kids cook. And uh, she is in here with the help of her dad learning, where is it? With the help of her dad, please, dad, go over and pro provide a hand. She's over a stove. Let's at least keep an eye on her. There we go. With the help of her dad, learning how to do a little bit of cooking. It's only her first meal cooked from scratch. Oh my gosh, we got disgustingness there. So I don't know what the quality is going to be. Oh my gosh. Guys, she's a natural little cook. Her franks have been quality is already actually excellent. Well done. That's the first thing she's ever cooked as well. It follows the movie so well. She's a natural cook. And all the family having a little bit of Tiana's homemade excellent quality franks and beans showing that she is going to be an absolute pro chef one day. She just knows how to put those ingredients together and just wholesome little family time with her beautiful cooking. Okay, wow. You had to go ruin it, Tiana. Look, your, if your little farts are coming up through your dress and into your own face. So you really only burnt yourself there. Have you got really sharp teeth? She's like, oh my gosh, she's got spiky teeth. Oh my gosh, no, please. <laughs> please don't have spiky teeth. Honestly, I usually quite like the realistic teeth, but in a low lighting household, which is what this one is, I don't have any really bright, like, uh, look at this. Why? Just why? I don't have any like super bright lights because I kind of figured that, you know, it's kind of the more old, older like oil sort of lamps. I don't know. I don't know where technology was in the 20s, but in my head, oil lamps. Maybe if you're a poorer family, but I do feel like they at least had electricity by then. I mean, they had trums, right? I don't know, but I'm gonna give her these little teethies instead and then I'll show you guys Kian's military outfit because it is pretty exciting. Uh, Kapow, look at that. He looks like he's so ready to go to war. He looks super adorable. And I know that we've only got like one or two episodes left with him, maybe even just the one. So enjoy this adorable face while you can. Spoilers if you haven't seen the movie. Honestly, go watch the movie. It's really good. Oh my God. Gosh, look, look how tired they both. Well, Kian looks absolutely shattered. Bless him, but he's done like two odd jobs today. He's a manual laborer and now he needs to join the military as well. So what a little time he has left, he is spending with his little fams. And then tomorrow he has to go ahead and enlist. And it will go from instead of cooking with Tiana and showing her recipes to Tiana cooking herself at home, trying stuff out and then letting her dad taste it when he comes home. Okay, so since we know that Tiana is a little hard worker, I'm gonna get her like maybe making foodies for other people as well and like setting their table, doing odd jobs in other people's houses. And, and I can ask them for money, like I can ask the Sim who lives here for money, just for her to try and get a little bit of extra money. She's doing odd jobs. I can't give a kid a job, I don't think in Sims. So this is like the closest I can do. And it also builds up her cooking skill as well. Oh my gosh, her using knives is kind of scaring me though. Okay, so we've gone and made her some breakfast, set her table. Oh my gosh, she's in the toilet. Oh, okay, awkward. No, that's not how you start a nice, sort of working relationship, Tiana. It is gonna make her a little bit late for school, but hopefully we can get a little bit of money because 80,000 pounds, 80,000 pounds is a lot. And oh my gosh, can kids not ask for money? After I just did all of that cooking. Okay, fine. I think Cinderella is gonna have to be the one that asks for money instead. Or Kian actually, since he's at home prepping for a little bit of military. And oh my gosh, this person's house is trash. So definitely we're gonna hit them up when we get home and do a little bit of cleaning for them as well. Oh my gosh, this person's actually disgusting. Like, 
Like, seriously? How are you this gross? And how did you get- How are you stealing my food? I don't understand. All of our doors are locked. And if you think it's mean making a little kid do all these jobs, I totally agree it is, but if you watch the movies, Tiana, like, basically does so many, like, little jobs and stuff on the side because she's desperately trying to save enough money to be able to buy at that restaurant one day. And since she can't do the ask for money thing, I have to get key and to go around and be like, by the way, my daughter did loads of stuff for you. Can you please pay us? <gasps> And oh my gosh, Cinderella has been promoted to a wearable wordsmith. She makes more money. We got a little bonus. She also has a digital sketch pad, but just pretend that doesn't exist because de digital sketch pads definitely didn't exist in the 1920s. Oh, Grumpy's here. Little Grumpy. Let's go ahead and say hi to him. I'll give him some keys so he can get inside. He's had a little haircut and a little rework of his look to make sure he fits the 1920s as well. Also, if I ask Grumpy if he is single, he's going to go ahead and tell us that actually he is married now to Anastasia. So that's freaking adorable. And little Tiana's also made some little vegetable dumplings which everyone well they were meant to all enjoy it outside on the little veranda place here obviously she's gone inside which is kind of annoying but everyone kind of enjoying tiana and her dad's food out on the front of the house is kind of very on par oh, okay inside the house and just don't do what I want him to do. But that again, very on par with the movies and with Kian signing up to the military. Things are about to change in little Tiana's life, but hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. In the next episode, I'm trying to get to like the point of it where we can actually get Tiana to start working and trying to get enough money to buy the old sugar mill, which you guys have now seen. So I think I will go ahead and age her up into a teenager. So hopefully you guys are excited for that. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you check out the other ones in the series. If if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in another episode thank you so much for watching bye